Hello everybody, this is Jamie from Tree Savers. I'm going to give you a quick explanation as to why hemlock woolly adelgid is so bad in spring of 2021. Um, say hello to my son Elijah, he's joining us today. And I'm going to give you a quick look at what treated trees look like even though, you know, these have beetles on them. Last year and the year before that we have had very mild winters which mean the extreme cold which helps to kill woolly adelgid at the extremities you know on the tips and such we haven't had that um and woolly adelgid becomes active each year before the beetles do so the woolly adelgid becomes active we say think of it like a winter coat when the temperatures hit freezing it begins spinning that wool and then slowly progresses to the adult stage and now in spring they've filled these nice fluffy sacks with eggs so I have released beetles on this tree before. This is the evidence in the past. And then I released beetles this year, just once for our instructional video about a couple weeks ago. And this is what our trees look like. Now the good news is, check out all the new growth on the tips of my needles, all these bright green tips. So the tree's still producing growth. It's not dying. There's no needles dropping. Um, all the tips look healthy. You know, the foliage looks healthy. So what we're really dealing with is nature taking its course. We ought to be concerned. This is a very high population of hemlock woolly adelgid and we should respond by releasing more beetles. Um, if budget allows, this is the year to take advantage of that and try to get as many beetles out on your property as possible. They will then reproduce themselves, spread themselves, and you're gonna get much better control. Um, it's too difficult to tell, you know, as to what survived last year and how well those beetles that survived last year are going to be able to compensate for this completely unnatural increase.